Hey, what's going on guys? Coming again Z here. I'm starting a new project. So we're going to be coding a chess bot capable of playing uh, automatic chess on whatever site. So it won't be uh, sticking to lead chess or chess.com or whatever other site because it would rely on an open source computer vision library called OpenCV, which is which I'm currently up with. So if you're interested in the OpenCV tutorials, uh, you can have a look at the links in the description below this video on my Kikians channel, where I'm making tutorials uh, covering the most interesting topics for, to me personally, for me at least, uh, regarding, regarding OpenCV. So, this uh, this library kind of like uh, opens a new highway to experimenting with automating chess engines to play on websites and it's not intended for cheating really I know that probably if you're watching this video the most likely you're interested in cheating that is also possible that also might be on the cards but for me personally like the reason why I'm doing or why am I doing this is just to bring all this uh, all these technologies kind of together. So this is the very first the introductional video. There won't be any coding in this video, but I want to describe how the project is gonna look like. And just like uh, we did in the in the past, like with the Bitboard Chess Engine and C and the rest of uh, and the rest of things, it would be a uh, live coding series so i don't yet have this project working uh but i've been uh, i've been experimenting with uh, some core modules so at this particular point, moment i can say like 100 percent sure that it will work and again like i just really want to walk through the process of uh, creating this from scratch with you guys to potentially give some uh i don't know some highlights on the most uh, important things so without further ado let's actually go for for a description of how in particular this stuff is going to be working and then already in the next video we'll go to uh we'll, we'll start coding basically so the very first and the most essential thing to consider is object recognition but uh as far as we're not dealing with uh, we don't really need any machine learning or uh some specific uh, object recognition uh technologies because it's just a matter of taking a snapshot of a screen then we need to locate a chessboard then we need to locate all the pieces and then we need to uh, actually convert the board image into the fen string which is the input to, which is the input to the uci engine that we that we would be using later on so i find a very nice and simple way of how one can uh, make a pattern recognition using uh, Python OpenCV and PyOdo GUI as well. So all this are libraries to uh, automate the process of interacting with the computer. So OpenCV allows to analyze the images, PyOdo GUI allows to make screenshots and also to uh, automate the process of moving the mouse like it can mimic uh, as if the user is moving the mouse to a certain coordinate. So first we need to recognize our pieces, then convert them to the FEN string. Then we need to, then we, we would be relying on the Py, uh, PyChess library to open a uh, UCI engine, whatever, Stockfish or whatever engine you like. And then we would be using the FEN that we will obtain from, uh, from the, the visual recognition of uh, our screenshot. We'll, uh, we'll uh, source that FEN to the engine. Uh, to initialize the internal engine's position and then we'll make the engine st start calculating and by the time when the engine stops calculating and returns the best move we'll take that best move and then we'll uh, go the opposite way so uh, we'll convert uh, we'll convert the source and destination squares from the engine to the certain coordinates to make the to make the mouse first on the source square then mimic the click event then move the mouse to the destination square and then the mimic, mimic the click one again event again so eventually it would be like a uh, user is just like uh, moving the mouse uh, clicking on a piece and then moving the mouse to the target square to the destination square clicks again and the move is made 
there also there also there would uh, there would be some logic to wait uh, for opponent to move and things like that so uh i don't uh i can't say uh like i'm not 100 percent sure how exactly that is going to be implemented but those tiny little details are not the, the most important thing at the moment so something that i'm really interested in is just how to convert uh the image uh, uh the, uh, the the image of a chessboard to the fn string and then how to convert the best move in the form in the UCI format like from square to square like e2 to e4 how to convert e2 to the certain card name where the e2 where the e2 pawn uh, uh, is located uh, on the screen on your laptop and then go into the coordinates uh, responsible for the e4 square and click there and make a move and that's kind of it so if you're interested to follow this tutorial stay tuned and already starting from the next video we're gonna be writing some code so there would be some uh there would be kind of two parts uh those parts that kind of more relates to open cv on its own and object recognition and those parts are more more like relates to chess programming so all the parts that more like relates to open cv and object recognition would be available on my code monkey games channel so i just would be uh, providing the links for more detailed explanations of the techniques being involved so for those of you who are, who are interested in how that works, you could learn more. And so uh, I'll try to be short on, on the OpenCV part. And when it comes to the actual chess programming part, like how to convert this image to, uh, to the FVN string and things like that, so all the backend stuff, this is going to be covered in great details. So this is it from my side, guys. I hope to see you in the videos. Uh, coming soon uh, within this tutorial. So until the next time and take care.